Quark, owner of Quark's Bar, Embassy, Gaming House, and Hollow Street Arcade. And you're listening to The Neutral Zone with my bastard son, DJ Grom, right here on Subspace Radio, the voice of Star Trek Online. Hello, my Gromulans, and welcome to The Neutral Zone. I'm your host, DJ Grom, Subspace Radio's only Frankie DJ, and oh, do I have a show for you tonight, let me tell you. I have carefully selected, oh, true, um, too careful on screening, I have found an expert on the topic, oh, oh, on a space topic that you guys probably aren't familiar with, uh, but by the end, I hope uh, that you're going to have a different outlook on it, so, um, so I see we've got Milaus, oh, oh, missing vowels, Gloria, Anne, and Erica, down at the bar already, we're at Deep Space Nine instance number two, and my buddy Raktor, of course, is at the end of the bar, how you doing, Raktor, good to see you, um, okay, so without further ado, I think, um, this requires a little bit of a build-up. Um, what we're going to talk about is um, interesting alternate theories. So, um, so here we go. Um, my guest tonight is uh, a person known only as Lee, the Reddit, um, uh, I guess, reader. Reddit reader. Lee, are you here with us? Yes, how are you doing, DJ Grom? I am doing fantastic. And Lee, the reason I have you here is I want to, I've been uh, cruising around on the Reddit. I came across a theory, which I of course knew about before I got there, um, that I want to share with my listeners. It is known as the Mandela Effect. Now, eh, I know what it is, of course, and you know what it is, but they are totally unfamiliar. So I would like you to explain as simply as you can, what is the Mandela Effect? Okay, well, the Mandela Effect started off uh, back, I'd say, around the 2013 time frame, shortly after Nelson Mandela died. People thought they remembered him dying back in the late 80s, early 90s, and so they just kind of were like, whoa, what's going on here? And people started noticing more and more of these little things that they uh, had you know, remember totally different, and uh, it ended up just uh, turning into, you know, you can find hundreds, if not thousands of these little things, and on the internet, and it's got a bunch of people around the world confused, you know, I'd say hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, literally just kind of like going, what? So, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it, so, uh, from the get-go, like, uh, you know, one of the basic, basic ones is the Berenstein Bears, or the Berenstein Bears. Like, everybody remembers it best uh, being spelled STEAM, like, you know, E-I-N, but in reality, it's A-I-N. Um, you know, that one's more just a general misspelling. There's a ton of those, a lot of those. Another one misspelling is Adolf Hitler. You know, people remember it with a P-H, and now all of a sudden it's got an F. That's, that's, that's more of a basic level one. And, and you start getting into the, more of the, like, audio type, and that's like... Uh, where sex in the city, uh, you know, but in reality it's sex and the city. Uh, interview with the vampire, but reality it's interview with the vampire. And then there's a bunch of movie quotes, so you end up with like, Luke, I am your father. That one's actually, no, I am your father. If you build it, they will come. It's actually, if you build it, he will come. And it goes on and on, I'm sure I'll give you more examples of those. Uh, but one that, that really trips people out is C3PO has the Silver Lake. And like, nobody notices the Silver Lake, and the first time you see it, you're like, whoa, what's going on with this Silver Lake? So yeah, that's kind of, that one throws a lot of people a curveball. Uh, I've heard that some experts are a little bit uh, more well-versed in that seem to remember the Silver Lake, but you know, for the average viewer, it's not something that you now, I, at all. Just to clarify, what you're stating is that C. Trepio always had a silver leg. Not that he now has one along with the red eye. That he always, since 79 or 78, had the silver leg. Is that correct? Well, 
Well, if you're believing in the Mandela effect, then you would be saying that the Silver Lake just appeared within the last X amount of years, within the last five, ten years. That it used to be gold, but somehow the universe changed, and now it's silver. And I went and looked on Google Trends, and I actually typed in c tree Silver Lake. First time it was looked for was May 2011. And I did that in my own okay. research. Isn't that weird? Yeah, so you're saying 2011? That's what Google Trends told me. I don't know if you believe it, but uh, first time uh, it was yeah, searched I mean, for. Yeah, and I mean, they try, to, they try to say that this has been kicking off for the last, I think, 11 or 12 years. Uh, it's like the earliest records they can find hints of it on the internet. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this one, it probably picked up steam in 2011, uh, you know, and you are just now learning about it, and, you know, uh, luckily you've got tons of resources. Um, there's, I'm sure that they come up with some of the newer ones, but this is kind of a little bit of a older topic, and so, you know, we've heard a lot of the same things kind of over where, like, an S seems to appear, like, in the pen diapers, uh, or, well, it disappears in that instance where it's really just the pen diapers. Uh, so you start, we still have a lot of the minor ones, but one of the bigger ones. And uh, another another big one, and it's a movie line also, is uh, Hello, Clarice. It's, uh, not everybody seems to remember that line from Silence of the Lamb. I mean, you can really, really get through. I mean, if you can think about it right now, you can imagine that scene perfect, or at least I could. And then you go and watch it, and all he says is good morning. And that one's like a little bit of a hard leap, because it's like, how do you go from good morning to hello, police? Because, I mean, you know, like in that book, I am your father, and it goes to know I am your father, that's just one word, and like everything else is the same. But yeah, that one throws people, definitely. It's moved me for a little bit, but you, know, you just have to really pay attention and not go too far down this little rabbit hole and realize that. Well, the, the one that got me at the beginning, of course, was the Berenstein Bears. Um, because when I was a kid, I actually called them the Berenstein Bears, as in Einstein, Frankenstein. I called them the Berenstein Bears. So clearly I saw a Stein, S-T-E-I-N, like a drinking Stein, you know? Um, so I remember, that's why I was so stunned about that one, because, because <laughs> I clearly remember it, you know, as, um... No, 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 I'm with you, I clearly remember it as, you know, steam too, because I remember my papa telling me, no, you're saying it wrong, it said, uh, Aaron Steen, you know, like, he corrected it, and, like, because I was like you, I was saying it's fine, so, but I do have a memory of it being this way as a kid, but, yeah, it's, uh, but now as an adult, it's, it's not the same, and that's, yeah. that's where the, you know, the oddity comes in, I guess, with, and, and it's not just you, and it's not just me, it's just yeah. all the people. For me, the oddity... Is. The oddity is when people go digging through their stuff and they pull out like an old VHS tape and it is changed on there to the new one, you know? <laughs> yeah. That uh, seems a little weird. talking about old VHS tapes, so one of the more interesting things about this is the residue that's left over. That's what they say is left over saying, showing that it used to be this way, but it changed. And so there is like residue on this Berenstein Bears. So somebody does have a VH a VHS tape, and on the side label, it does say Berenstein. I saw uh, that. You know, yeah, and I mean, you have to accept that as a misprint. You can't, you can't like, read into that too much. Like, there, there's people that, like, that's the proof, you know, like, and, and uh, it's really important to, to stay in reality on this subject, because just like how you hear of people turning into glasses of orange juice, from Athens, you can, there's literally people turning into crazy men in the woods. I mean, literally, you can go on YouTube and see them going insane over this. So, all of your, all of the audience out there, do not go crazy over this. Seriously. This <laughs> is a rabbit hole. You can go digging in and you can freak yourself right out and you can be like, oh my yeah. God, I swear. Um, now, this goes beyond just misremembering things like quotes. 
Um, people are looking at maps and saying geographical things are changing, like continents are appearing and this is not continents, but um, <laughs> you know, like land masses are moving. Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, and and there's, there's three common ones on that one. It's uh, uh, yeah, New Zealand is. I could be wrong, but I'm not a geographic expert either. Uh, a lot of people remember New Zealand being northeast, and but it's actually southeast of Australia. And then uh, there's a lot, a lot of people who remember a landmass west of Australia, but they can't remember the name of the continent. And back to residue, that's actually one that has residue. There's a day, there's a globe in the movie Dazed and Confused, and there is clearly a continent west of Africa. You know, that's one of the trickier ones that you can. got me uh, the most was when I watched uh, the JFK footage um, the um, not the Zapruder film but just the footage I guess it's a Zapruder film whatever it is it looks to me um, it was so weird because it is not what I remembered it is way more graphic it's from a different angle uh, there's six people in the car instead of four and that's got me confused sorry for the noise my female is shuffling things um, but, no, I okay, good. I can hear it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so so that one got me the JFK footage. Now, was that different for you, or did it look the same? That's what did part you of the one that, that I remember perfect. And I mean, the only slight thing that I would say is that yeah, the the video is much higher quality. I mean, we do have some awesome software nowadays, so I mean that could be the contributing factor to that. Uh, I mean, I remember as a kid, it was like a black and white grainy video, like no color at all, and nowadays you can see a full color, you know, just shy of high definition, like really. Yeah, so, way I mean, more graphic. Is, yeah, yeah, way, I mean, like, yeah, you can, yeah, you can see the gory details nowadays, where back in the day you couldn't see that kind of detail. And I'm wondering, but, I mean, we have, did the networks edit it and not show us? Like, was it just simply that, that they cut it out before we saw it? But I kind of remember back then him falling over on uh, Jackie's shoulder, you know. Um, that's still there, but it's way more graphic. Um, shockingly. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, way. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, they could have blurred it out a little bit. And also, you got to remember, way back then, TVs kind of weren't good. I mean, yeah. like, they weren't good at all. <laughs> I mean, compared to what we have nowadays, if you try to watch some of this stuff, like, you, just, you wouldn't even be able to see it on an old TV. It would just be so poor quality. I mean, if that's, that's the truth. Try to watch a movie like The Book of Eli on an old TV. It won't happen. You got to you see the darkness for half the movie. And that's uh, um, what they say about C-Treepio's leg is that we saw it on a crappy TV. Although, I saw Empire Strikes Back on a drive-in. That was like a 25-foot walker. <laughs> and I didn't see it. Yeah, I never had even thought about that with C-3PO's like, but yeah, I mean, that's how I have to write it off. I mean, and that's what you have to do is you have to end up, if you end up getting too obsessed about all this stuff, you have to end up writing off each one of these individually, and then you end up with those, you know, those that small handful that you can't really just write it off. I mean, there's no way. And then you have to just be like, ah, it's what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's no, it, it's no other way. It, it really is. Because you get people that end up, I mean, they're proposing some pretty out there theories. Uh, I mean, and I'm not saying that they're wrong, but I mean, I don't know everything in the universe. But, I mean, the very, very common theory is that the dimensions are merging, that we have two or more dimensions that are becoming one. And that and the cause of this is it's most it's most recently blamed on uh, the quantum computers that they started using. And then that news who gave a talk at TED Talks who was talking about how we're uh, gonna access other dimensions and uh, 
I think that that's kind of combining and people are just freaking out thinking that this is messed up reality and uh, and I mean and, and, they, and they truly believe it and I mean and it's, it's really easy to believe but I'm more along the lines of trying to find a medical cause or an environmental cause because the real thing is, is the sheer number of people who believe it. Like, you're playing a Star Trek game, and there's a very, very famous misquote from Star Trek. I mean, everybody Beat me knows up, that. Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. And then you learn that wasn't the right one, right? Uh, I mean, you, you know what the right one is. I can't sure, recall it all but the no, I don't recall anybody ever saying, I swear he said, beam me up, Scotty. I, like, that was not the effect that we're seeing. On exactly, the yeah, exactly, and that and that difference right there is the difference in the Mandela effect. Is that I have no problem accepting that was not that, and I have no problem accepting that played against Sam was never never said. I mean, you know, no problem there, but something's still weird. Like when you when you uh, first see the picture of the scarecrow that has a gun and Wizard of Oz, like. That just seemed so weird. Like, that felt so out of place to me. I was like, whoa, I never remember. I mean, I'm not a huge Wizard of Oz fan by any measure, but it just, like, my mind totally drew a blank on, on that. Uh, you know, there's not too many of those visual Mandela effects that, I, that I've, I've fallen for, and that's one of them. Yeah. Uh, that one was weird for me, yeah. but I, I will agree. I There's two things. Um, first, I never watched the Wizard of Oz religiously so I couldn't answer that um, but one yeah. thing I will state is I have never run into anybody who swears they remember Mandela dying the, the person who is they should, they should be called the Berenstein effect because <laughs> I run into way more people <laughs> no you're right absolutely I mean I, yeah, it unfortunately got named the wrong name I'm with you and everybody we can't change it people have tried and they're stuck in Mandela effect yeah no, uh, it's official. But, yeah. How did you find a forum? There's a Reddit forum. You were obviously interested oh. in it too enough that you went looking on Reddit. I had I had snapped to the Baron scene again. I mean, I I I snapped it a long time ago, like maybe like three four years ago, uh, when my little girl uh, got one of the books, and then I had seen it spelled again, and I just googled it, and I was like, holy crap. Like, I mean, it just was like so much to it. It was like way more than just remembering names. So, I mean, and that's how a lot of people are stumbling across it. It's like, what? I don't remember that. You know, it's like, which, I mean, and, and they're Googling just that, and they're coming across the reality that's blowing, you know, blowing everything out of the water. Now, uh, so two of the big right. theories, um, the biggest one, of course, that I heard was. Uh, people right away started blaming um, CERN, the big uh, particle collider uh, in Europe. They started blaming CERN right away and saying, oh, they're messing with time and reality. Now, I have a question for you because that one, personally to me, it just seemed like they're blaming them for no reason. I didn't catch the connection, but a lot of people seem to be thinking it's them. That's a big one. Um, so I, yeah, that, uh, one, that one runs from 4 and I mean... 4chan is kind of crazy as is. Uh, some, some anonymous user came on 4chan and claimed that CERN was doing some experiment that's going to end in 2019, 2020, and that's causing the Mandela effect. And people have really been off of that, but if it was an anonymous person, nobody knows who it is. I mean, like honestly, like with no credibility, no backing it up. Right. Like, that was Just an point the finger. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I at least in the quantum computer theory, you know, you got a TED talk with, with, with legit science and stuff there, and you have something to link to, you know, you have something to, to actually think about. I mean, this this is stuff that, that this is emerging technology, and it, and it still is magical to us, and we're, and we're learning, and, you know, we're going to blame things on this new magical technology, but, uh, you know, these quantum computers, pretty soon they're going to be a reality, and what they can do. I don't even understand them. Like, I, I try, but I, I'm not smart enough. Like, uh, I really... <laughs> I agree with you. I tried listening to a guy yeah. explain it, and he's like, we don't even have words in the English language that could explain what this thing's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tells you it's I a big mean, deal. I mean, we can, I, I mean, I can speculate, and I can, I can, I can, 
explain what they're doing with, with you know, the best layman's terms I, I could think of, which is, you know, they're trying to... Because you know how recently scientists learned how to teleport energy? Oh, yes, so, yes, that's so been for a while. They can change it. They can split it apart at any distance and change it, correct? Is that what you mean? Exactly, yeah, exactly. So that, when they learn how to do that, so here's, here's an explanation of what this, uh, this new uh, quantum computer might be able to do. This is all just speculation to one another, my butt. Uh, so, okay, so we have a way to teleport energy. The problem is that there's going to be a lot of interference in any messages walking into the code, just that's the universe. So maybe, you know, this quantum computer being able to do 20 gazillion calculations per millisecond or whatever it is can easily figure out that interference pattern and can then teleport these, these messages to, you know, quote-unquote dimensions that are far away, you know? Uh, so that, that's kind of like just an off-the-wall kind of thing, but like, that, that's, that's much more based in reality than thinking that it's causing something for you. Um, have you ever read uh, the writings, what are you going to call them, the log entries, of John Titor, the time traveler? I haven't, no. Okay, I have. I, um, back in the day, uh, when it was, not when it was new, it was a couple of years after, I found out about John Titor, and what he talked about was parallel universes, much like Snyder's, where, uh, the television show, you know, uh, where people could slide in and out between, um, different dimensions. So every outcome is happened, you know, somewhere you're a rock star, somewhere you're a movie star, somewhere you're poor and homeless, you know, every outcome, correct? Um, so so I, I remember that, and um, John Titor made a specific comment in that uh, he said if the way his time travel theory worked is when you jump from one uh, time and you return, you don't actually return to your own time. You return to one with a slight variance. And he had the variance down to like two decimal points, you know. Like, so it's such a minor variance. Um, but it could be as simple as it rained on one day or it didn't rain on another. It could be as simple as uh, a certain sports team won and didn't won. So his argument was, because I know I'm not returning. Became very <laughs> Basically, yeah, so we've sort of variantly slipped, you know, is how I sort of took it when I found the Mandela Effect because of what I had read about John Titor. Yet, I go to this Reddit forum and nobody's really talking about Titor. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm not even familiar with the person at all, and I, I definitely I, I need to look into that. Sure, a um, more, if I had to... Sounds like fun. If I had to sum it up briefly, in 1999, 2000, this guy appeared on a forum uh, full of physicists and he started going on and on about, oh, in the future this is going to happen, this is going to happen, oh, I'm from the future, I'm from 2035, I'm come to get a computer. He had this whole story and he answered all these questions. Now, the interesting point is every question proposed to him, he correctly answered uh, with, uh, with confidence. Uh, <laughs> he posed did a picture of his time machine. Uh, somebody else, the guy who ran the website, started labeling it based off of his writings and received a very nasty letter telling him to pull down the picture with the labels. So, who knows, you know? And uh, that might have even come from, uh, you know, I don't know, that's what I was told. Like, <laughs> I don't know all the details, but it was I mean, interesting. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's definitely very, very interesting and, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to say that, you know, alternate dimensions and all that stuff doesn't exist because, because they're very well good. I mean, we, we simply don't know. We don't have the ability to know it where we currently are. Uh, but, uh, you know, and we do have examples of people being able to predict future events. I mean, Mr. Don is being super famous for that. And, uh, so, I mean, he might have tapped into something more like that, you know, understanding how the cycle grows. Of just time work. Uh, and, uh, but I need to write down that name. I was like, 
Yeah. Do you, do you recall? John Titor. T I T O R. Very interesting read. Um, like I said, okay. back in the day, uh, he posted to all these forums and he went on and on, and it was pretty cool. He was like some soldier after a Holocaust war, uh, where it was like Mad Max, you know, where everybody's uh, fighting for their life, you know. And uh, so it was kind of cool. It had like this cool element. Came out in about 2000. Um, and apparently he called and harassed the Art Bell show a couple of times. I don't know. I haven't looked into it too much, like that end of it. But the basic yeah. story is what I told you. It's kind of fascinating, you know? No, no, it is. And I mean, okay. Uh, we might have to go. I don't know. Let's see how deep we end up going because we're going to kind of steer it a little. Yeah, yeah. Long, no, no. But, That's all. Uh, um, I mean, I wanted to get fine. back to the. Um, the Reddit forum, because uh, that's where I found you, and I appreciate that you came on my show. Um, how did you discover this Reddit forum, and uh, how do you like it? It's, oh, sorry, it's uh, reddit.com slash Mandela Effect, or Meta Mandela, which is what I, what I got posted to. Yeah, it's, uh, I would say that people are kind of set in their ways, and it's a little hard to, you know, like, they... Like, they want to believe the more out there stuff, you know. They'll believe that, uh, like, you know, I, I've proposed a few theories on there, and, and just some of them are just more for fantasy. Uh, like, and one of them was that, uh, uh, this is the first computer virus that, uh, kind of, that has affected you. Like you know, the major? Kind of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, like, something's happening inside of, you know, the greater internet, something crazy going on, things are getting changed, and uh, somehow it's tripping everybody out. It is a very basic thing, but everybody just, you know, they hopped on board with that, everybody was willing to bite onto that, and that, that was an out there theory. I mean, you know, like, that's, that's out there with dimension shifting kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, but then I come in, and, you know, I'll give them, like, real, real theories, you know, that, you know, that, you know, many clues can uh, alter you know, or can cause, you know, memory confusion and stuff like that. So, you know, we could be blaming this stuff on environmental factors, which, you know, which would explain, you know, worldwide event. Uh, and people shoot that down so quick, and it's like, okay, well, here's the, you know, here's the scientific research to back for everything I'm setting up. And, I mean, but, you know, like, they, 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 they're part of the fantasy. They really are, and it's so, unfortunate. But so you're, you're, I, I'm trying to shift, uh, yeah. You're greeted, with a wall of, uh, you're greeted with a wall of uh, resistance, is what you're saying. Yeah, and, 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 it's, and it's because, you know, humans are, we want to hear a, a, a great story. You know, we want to hear that somebody time travels. We want to hear that there's a heaven after this life. You know, we want to hear these crazy stories, and we want to believe them. And, you know, and I mean, that's the way we've always been. So, I mean, I guess it's a little ignorant of me to, to say that it's, hard, but, you know, like, you know, people want to believe the fantasy over reality. Sure. And um. What I, what I would do is I'll rattle off a few just so that uh, my Gromulans who are listening can kind of get what we're talking about. Here's a couple of uh, more of the prominent ones. 51 or 52 United States. Telling you, as a kid, I distinctly remember 52 um, for some reason, which is weird. I remember that as a child, and then later it was 50, and I'm like, oh, I must have been wrong. Berenstain versus the Berenstain Bears. That's a very popular one. That one draws people into it. Uh, Billy Graham's funeral on TV. People remember seeing it. I personally don't. Uh, as of January 2016, he's still alive. So, um, The color chartreuse. Um, some people recall it as a pink or reddish. It's actually a bright yellow green. Curious George, yeah. tail or no tail? Did he ever have a tail? He does not. I I don't recall him. I think he had a tail, but I don't know. Could be wrong, right? Um, the one that I was actually on a space date with a female, okay? A very beautiful, large-breasted female. And uh, she brought up the portrait of Henry VIII with a turkey leg in his hand. She brought that up, and I had heard about this. I personally, it's not a memory of mine. Um, this painting, right. of course, does not exist, right? Well, she mentioned it to me, so I was like, oh, really? Could you tell me more about that? 
<laughs> and she proceeded to tell me what the picture looked like. Uh, and it apparently never has existed. Um, <laughs> Jeff or Jeffy Peanut Butter, it's actually Jeff Peanut Butter. I think personally that's Skippy Peanut Butter. Skippy Peanut Butter, Jeffy Peanut Butter. I could totally get that. Or Jeffy Lube, you know, that's where Jeffy Lube, that yeah. one comes from. Yep, Jeffy maybe Lube, Jeffy Lube, yeah. that's, that's a good point. The Lindbergh Baby was never found. That's what I remember because people used to scream out as a joke, I am the Lindbergh Baby, right? Apparently the yeah. kid was found right away. And a baby was dead. Yeah, that, that one gets me too, yeah. I, I don't recall that one at all. <laughs> I actually asked some really old people, like in their 80s, about that. And uh, they said, uh, yeah, the baby went missing, was never found. <laughs> Which was kind of weird, you know? Because it was more current for them, right? So, uh, obviously, uh, Nelson Mandela's dad, uh, he died in 2013, but many people, although I've never found any, remember him dying way back in the day in the 80s. Um, so, let me see, Pepsi logos changed, Chevron, Ford logos, all sorts, Volkswagen logo, you've heard all these, correct? Yeah, the Volkswagen logo is definitely one of the more popular ones, that, uh, you know, and the reason why is because it has residue to it, uh, and Back to the Future, they have uh, the Volkswagen uh, van, and you can see the Volkswagen logo back to how the Mandela effect the believers think it was. Uh, I, I, I took this one that, you know, somebody repainted that van for the set, and when they repainted the logo, they did a bad job of it. Like, Could be, and, yeah. And that's totally I yeah, guess so I'm thinking to use a real vehicle because it certainly looked like a normal truck they just brought in, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I think it was, uh, you know, a perfectly normal uh, Volkswagen that was repainted. I mean, I had somebody made it there. That's that's just all I think. Uh, another big one, and this was the one that really threw me for a loop for like a you know a good day, was uh, Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually life was like a box of chocolates, uh, and. The reason it threw me for a loop was it was the very first residue I ever saw. There's a documentary, and it shows a scene from Forrest Gump. It's the making of Forrest Gump documentary, if I'm not mistaken. It shows a scene of, of Forrest Gump, of him back to saying, Life is like a box of chocolates. And it's the scene I remember, like I remember the camera cutting and showing him chewing the chocolate, and I, like it, it, it so familiar when I see that scene, like, it's like, yes, that's the scene I saw, but it's not the scene in the movie somehow, like, and that one really, I still to this day can't really explain that at all, because, like, I know that one was the scene I saw, but I busted out my old DVD of Forrest Gump, and sure enough, that scene's not in there. Not at all. all. Wow. See, yeah. that's the kind of stuff that freaks me out, is when you can sort of individually verify it, and it Stunned yeah. you know. <laughs> if you build it, and they then, will come. Was uh, one big one for me because it's always been. If you build it, he will come. That freaked me right out. Uh, if I tell you, as a kid, if he had said, "If you build it, he will come," we were stupid kids. We would have giggled our asses off. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I never even thought about that. Oh. <laughs> we totally would. We were like. Very true. Punks like that, you know? Um, so it was yeah, always man. day will come, and we didn't take that big, right? <laughs> yeah, going back to real world scenarios and that Hello Clarice, the thing is, is that every Clarice you ever met in your life would have known she would have been mad because she heard it a billion times. She would have been like, it's not Hello Clarice, it's Good Morning. You know, and, and I've known a couple of Clarices, like, why didn't they ever correct me on that? Like, because, you know, they're going to be the expert in that field. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, I have a very popular last name, and it doesn't matter, it's Wilson, and I've heard Mr. Wilson, or, you know, or, you sure. know the halfway, Wilson, and I've heard it so many times, you better believe it, if I had a chance to throw it back in somebody's face, I would do it in a heartbeat, you know, like, uh, I, I, I really would, um, so that's, that's one of those ones that it's like, how did, how did nobody correct that, like, you know, for the last, 30 years, basically. Yeah. It seems like, it seems, it seems like that would have been a well-known well fact. The one, um, the one, I, go ahead. No, go ahead, I don't want to cut you off, I'll um, remember. 
the one that bugs me is Luke, I am your father, because as a kid, I can remember distinctly trying to match the way he said it, you know, the, the drawn out Luke, you know. <laughs> we, we worked on that as kids, and, and nope, that was never said, so baffling, you know, so. Um, yeah, so same here. And, and, and when you hear the Mandela effect thing, uh, another oddity is that they sound dubbed. Like, it sounds like so wrong that, like, it actually sounds like the word has been replaced. And and that's one of those things, I mean, you know, they blame it on some brain anomaly. It has a, it has a similar uh, sounding like they dub group. Yeah, but, anyhow, uh, you know, they, they, they say that that's the cause of that, but... That, that is a weird thing to experience, and like, yes, that Luke, and it's not Luke anymore, that, that's just so strange. And, uh, one of, one of the more crazier ones is, uh, and I would say this is probably the closest you have to pinnacle of anything around on this, is that Houston, we have a problem from, from Apollo 13. Uh, so supposedly, I, I didn't experience this. If everybody remembered it being Houston, we have a problem. And then all of a sudden it changed to Houston, we've had a problem. You can find posts about this on the internet if you, if you want to go all about it. And then it changed back to Houston, we have a problem. And that freaked a bunch of people out. Because they were already, like, focused on it because it was a Mandela effect. And then it changed again. And, and we're... that's... Where you see this is in the comments <laughs> on the YouTube videos. You see, because it's dated, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that. You can see it on there. You can see it on uh, on Reddit also. And I mean, uh, you can you can find it. I mean, there's other websites dedicated to this, so you can definitely find quite a bit talking about this. Or you can, or you can do independent research on that one and, and see that. Yeah, I'm like they. Seem to remember, you got people like I was listening in headphones and I remember it being this way, you know, and then it changed back. It was crazy. Yeah, I mean, that know, would like, be very trippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to put it very, I mean, like that might be the thing that drove a few of those people crazy because yeah, they're they're they're, they're having a really tough time with that. Well, that's, uh, that's scary but, and uh, baffling, I have to say. Um, all right, so, uh, Lee, uh, I would like to ask you, do you have any final words for my Gromulans? How would you like to end this interview with them? Um, I would just say, uh, like I said early on, is don't get too caught up on it, and other than that, have a wonderful life. Cool, you know, you figure this is going to fizzle out, or this is going to get bigger? Um, supposedly it's supposed to get bigger until 2020, so let's wait and see. If, uh, pretty much everybody starts to experience it until 2020. Then uh, we'll know, and if it seems to just go out, then uh, the certain theory is definitely wrong. Well, that's all new to me. I didn't know anything was happening with the countdown. I will look into that. That's terrifying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I supposed to go back to normal, so let's keep our fingers crossed, right? Okay, well, we got lots of requests here. I'm going to take uh, my Gromulans want to listen to music, so uh, we will go to some music, and uh, I thank you very much, uh, Lee, from, uh, from my communicator here, <laughs> from the Reddit forums. You keep uh, everything going. Uh, I will hopefully, I will post this video for them all to, I don't know, dissect and rip apart, yell at us, all that stuff. Um, Many thanks for being on my show. Thank you for coming on the Neutral Zone. Absolutely. Take care.